Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the security best practices in cloud environment. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in cloud computing and you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. Friend, uh, whenever we are moving towards a cloud environment, for example, uh, Microsoft Azure or Google, and um, the main question here is that what is the security when we move our business, our resources on the cloud environment? So, friend, it it is very very important that whenever you are taking decisions or moving towards a cloud environment, so we must have to follow the security best practices. So what are the security best practices? Friend, security is the crucial aspect of managing cloud environments due to sensitive nature of the data and services hosted in the cloud. Implementing best practices ensure the confidentiality, integrity and availability of your resources as well. So today we shall discuss in detail about the security best practices in the cloud environment. First is the identity and access management. Friend, identity means that your identity means that user ID, password and uh, based on your identity, the access will be granted to the application to you. Okay, so this is basically the concept of identity and access management. Now, a friend, first thing is that assign the minimum level of access necessary for the users and resources to perform their task and regularly review and update the permissions. That means, friend, if a resource doesn't need the uh, screen 4, for example, so he should not be granted the privilege to access that screen in the application. If a user need only two resources access of uh, screens, two screens, so he will be granted access of only two screens. Then multi-factor authentication means that enforce multi-factor authentication for user accounts to add an additional layer of security. Friend, multi-factor authentication means that uh, normally we enter into the application using the uh, user ID and password. This is basically a one factor now uh, nowadays uh, the uh, this is very common that you will receive an OTP on your mobile device and you have to enter that OTP on the uh, application to enter like first you will enter the login ID and password then an OTP will be received on your mobile and then you will enter that OTP on the application to uh, to login into the application so that is why it is called as multi-factor authentication means one factor is the login ID and password and the second factor is the OTP uh, other than OTP we have facial recognition fingerprint scanning and other authentication level are also available then data encryption uh, friend use secure communication channels like TLS or SSL based to encrypt data transmitted between your application and the cloud cloud services friend uh, we must have to understand that whenever an hacker attack on your data he attack when the data is transferring between your application and the cloud services so this is the way this is the path at which normally he attacks so if the data is encrypted through the ssl so it will be nearly impossible for him to uh, hack the data also encrypt sensitive data stored in database storage and other repository to protect it from unauthorized access so also it is very necessary that uh, the sensitive data which you are storing database it should be encrypted properly encrypted because like not necessary the hacker uh, hack the data from the path uh, from the communication he can hack it from the database as well then network security means that use VPC which is virtual private cloud to isolate and segment your network, employ network security groups NSG or security list to control inbound and outbound traffic. Inbound means the traffic which is coming towards your site and outbound means the traffic which is going outside from your site. Also implement firewalls and web application firewalls WAF to filter and monitor traffic protecting against common web exploit. Web firewall is very important that whatever the traffic is basically uh, is entering uh, or going outside it should be passed through the firewall. Then logging and monitoring means uh, enable cloud provider specific logging services for example AWS CloudTrail 
as your monitor to track activities and changes uh, within your environment basically friend and that is for with respect to security point of view it is important that you must have to know that what activities users are performing that at what time they change the status at what time they perform which activity so uh, if you have a logging activity enabled so you have a clear understanding you have a clear visibility that which user are doing what activity you can also use uh, the seam tools uh, which is a security information and event management to uh, aggregate and analyze logs helping identity uh, identify potential security incidents basically simply friend seam is basically a tool which basically collect the logs from different devices for example uh, the uh, windows operating systems network devices and uh, that logs will be collected at some location in which you can analyze it and you can have a dashboard to view you have a visibility about the logs then incident response and forensics means develop an incident response plan outlining the steps to take when a security incident occurs regularly test and update the plan uh, also design systems and processes to facilitate forensic analysis in case of a security breach forensic means uh, friend that when an event occur uh, of a for example any fraudulent activity occur so uh, you must have a process you first of all you have a plan that what you will do in that case if such activity occurs secondly uh, what are the basically analysis approach which you will do so that this type of occur this type of event should not occur in future then patch management means keep all software including operating systems, applications and dependencies up to date with the latest security patches, especially operating systems. Uh, implement automated patch management solutions to streamline the update process. Nowadays, friend, with respect to security point of view, uh, patch management solutions are available which you can implement it accordingly as per your uh, need. Then compliance and governance means regularly audit and assess your cloud environments against the relevant compliance standards for example HIPAA, uh, GDPR, PCI DSS. Establish and enforce governance policies to ensure compliance, security and cost control properly. Then uh, distributed denial of service protection means use DDoS, distributed denial of service protection services provided by the cloud provider or deploy third party solutions to safeguard against DDoS attacks. Uh, then backup and disaster recovery means implement regular uh, data backups, ensure critical data can be restored in the event of data loss or security incidents. Um, also develop and test a comprehensive disaster recovery plan to minimize downtime and data loss here as well.